What's up, Space Cadets? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Imperial Galactic Survival. We're still on the uh, Brewmaster Lark space station thingamabob. Uh, we're not going to be doing this quest today, though. The reason I started here was because we have a lot of loot to get, and I kind of want to show most of it, if not all of it. Uh, it depends on how long it takes me to loot everything. I feel like it take, if it's taking too long, then I will skip some of it and just show you everything at the end. But for, we're going to start just looting everything. Oh, let's take a shower. There we go. That gets rid of all our um, all our radiation. So that's cool. We'll go to the bathroom too. Oh, he actually sit on the toilet. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, that that's pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> anyway, what are we going to be doing today? Be actually, while I'm looting, I'll talk about it. Wow, well, a drill right off the bat. Um, apparently, my ship is not fast enough. Okay, who knew? It's not reaching uh, max speed in space. In space. So a lot of people are giving me some other builders I could look into. And um, while I, I love the way the, the vehicle looks, I would like to go a little bit faster in space. So some of the other vehicle, you know, people who make vehicles, you know, capital vessels, small vessels, the, the whole the whole nine yards, are Spange and Jeff Randall. I think I know Jeff Randall is Jay Randall. I didn't know his first name was Jeff, but there you go. And yeah, I mean, that's that's cool, man. I'm, I'm all for, you know, getting all different kinds of ships into my repertoire. Uh, so what I did was I went online and I found this one right here. And this is by Jay Randall. It looks dope. It's got, uh, as far as I can tell, it's got more storage than the one I'm using now. But it doesn't have a constructor. And it's also got way more guns. Although it doesn't, it can't hold as much ammo. So um, this is not meant for any serious combat. It's like for drones, a couple of guys on the ground maybe. But uh, yeah, that thing looks pretty cool. Uh, we're definitely going to make that. I don't know when, but we definitely are. All right, so let's go ahead and loot. I'm going to pay attention so I don't keep looting the same stuff over and over. I wish I would tell you if it's empty because I'm too stupid to remember. <laughs> wish I could loot those, man. I really do. Oh, a laser, up Ooh, laser upgrade. Dude, I love laser guns in this game. Laser guns are my favorite guns, and the reason is they have no recoil. I My favorite gun used to... Man, how many freaking things of these am I going to get? Hold on. Let's um let's do this. Let's go to here. Pick something that's seriously high level. There we go. And then tier 2, tier 1. I'm going to save the tier 2s for backups. Uh, I don't need like a bunch of drill backups, though. Uh, put that, that, and that in there. Okay. I did loot the one on top. There we go. Yeah, the, the laser guns is, like, my favorite. I Like I said, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I was I started talking about it, but I don't think I finished my thought. Ooh, my first flux coil. That's why I don't finish thoughts, because I get distracted with loot. Anyway, um, my favorite weapon used to be the, uh, the minigun, but then they made the recoil on it so bad that, like, I never used it again. Now, to be fair, to be fair, it might be better now, and I just, you know, ooh, I love the armor boost one. I'll probably switch out. Oh, hold on. There you go. Armor boost. Boom. I like that even better than the multi boost. Yeah. Armor boost is my favorite, followed by the multi boost. Well, I came home and I was working on what's going to eventually be the beginning of a farm. And yeah, the Xerax are coming to attack. Who would have thought? I shot down a bunch. I shot down like their whole um, armada. That's not, is, is planes armadas? I don't think so. I think that's ships. I, I shot down their whole stupid fleet. And uh, now they're sending uh, guys to kill me. So that sucks. Let's make sure we have ammo. All right, we have plenty of ammo. And my miniguns should be good to go. Wait, why do I only see one? Minigun turret. All right, here, let's do this. Group everything up. There we go. Uh, weapons, turrets, there we go. Two turrets. So, yeah, they're pretty good. They should be, I mean, they should do the job. Here they come. I'm going to go help just in case. Let's see what's going on out here. There's one down. Oh boy. Wow, my, my turrets don't seem to be doing a very good job. Usually the turrets take them down a lot quicker than that. We just gotta see how much damage is done to our turrets. Oh yeah, we lost the block. Yeah, we're gonna have to... Oh boy. Oh boy. This was not going to be a building video, and it probably still won't be. But I'm thinking next video is going to have to be a serious building video. They they nerfed the turrets, like, that, you know, our turrets. Because normally two turrets take down two, two minigun drones easy. Like, that's that's cakewalk. 
but they're having a real struggle with it. So um, they're always balancing these games, you know, especially this game. Okay, let's be careful. Get some stamina back. Yeah, they're always balancing these games, so it's, it's understandable. But let's just come in here and see how much damage they did to my turrets. I'm going to just get back in here in the safety of my own thing. And I got I to gotta make a way to get on the roof, too. All right, let's see. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, that's... Oh, boy. Um, Do I want to switch up the episode? No. No. No, we are not going to switch up the episode. I'm just kind of looking at when... Uh, see, they just attacked, so... Hopefully they won't attack again for, you know, a decent amount of time. But, um, yeah. Oh, boy. Well, I at least got to go up there. I got to be there. I got to be there to, to help. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some more of these elevator blocks. And I'm going to put them up to the roof. I'm going to go up there, repair that sucker. And then we're, we're going to get out and about. I was going to make a farm, but I'm going to have to hold off on that. Because um, I want to get out, explore, you know, the area. Uh, a lot of the POIs I haven't seen before. You know? And, uh... We got to do that quick because I'm, I'm kind of nervous about my base. I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of like the way they beefed up the drones. They used to be a joke and now I'm worried about them. And that is a really good thing. All right. So I repaired everything. I also put down one of those reinforced concrete blocks. And sure enough, they only have the concrete option. Now, for those of you who don't know what I'm doing here, I'm putting up some kind of metal type blocks on the upper floor because I like the options of the textures. Like, I like these textures a lot more. But if it's going to mean sacrificing my base, I, I, I'm not too sure about that. The only other thing I could do is I can make hardened, like, steel, like, blocks. Yeah, I think they're hardened steel blocks, but they take a resource I'm not sure how to get a lot of. Um, I'm going to look into it. If you guys want to let me know in the comments, that's great. I already made five more projectile turrets. Uh, was I supposed to make six? Yeah, I was supposed to make six. But... There's only five. Am I missing something with them? No, I don't think I'm missing something with them. Oh, I know why they're not being crafted. I don't have enough room. This thing's full. Okay. Oh, boy. You know, <laughs> it's just one problem after another. I love it. I freaking love it. That's the way these games should be. One problem after another. All right, let's put these up there for now. You could use these things as unlimited storage, by the way. So, I don't like that, but I'm going to do it because I need to. Alright, I want to get out and check out some POIs. Let's see what we want to look for. Um, no, not ruins. Not ancient outpost. Uh, I like the smuggler's barge. I just don't like the way it's in the water. I think I found one that wasn't in the water. Ancient temple. Uh, ruins. Where's the smuggler's... No, that's in the water too. They're not all in the water, are they? Oh, Smuggler's Hideout. Yeah, so barges are in the water. Hideouts are above. Okay, we're going to go to the Smuggler's Hideout. Let me just check and make sure of everything I need for the trip. i got to be honest, guys. That <laughs> that drone attack's got me shook. It's got me shook. So, woo-wee. Man, this game just keeps getting better and better every freaking time I play it. My my only gripe with this game since the beginning has been um, uh, how weak the drone attacks were. I guess I could just land right next to this thing. Sure. I don't know what I don't know what to expect in this. I've never been in this POI. I think this is like a new POI, so it's definitely new for me. Oh boy. Oh whoop. What was that? Here. Oh god! Jeez! Freaking punk ass. Oh my god, I'm trying to save the game, you dick. Oh, what a jerk. Now I'm going to loot your goodies. Give me your giblets. Oh, you know what? Why don't we just hook this in so everything goes in there. Alright, here we go. Okay. Loot it up. Got to it quietly. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wait, why is all that stuff going to my inventory? Should it be going in here? When I loot stuff and this is locked in, I think stuff should go in here. I'm not really sure why it's going to my inventory. There we go. No, see? Hmm. Well, one thing I can do is I can just do this. <laughs> Biofuel. 
Small generator. Is there a power storage? Oh, here we go. Take a shower. I'm going to use your shower if that's okay. BRB, have to kill critters outside. Don't touch anything, okay? You think he didn't make it? Or you think he's going to roll up on me from behind? I'm just going to sit here. Stamina recovery. Beautiful. Okay. Is that it? This is it? I thought there was a door. Is this really it? Oh, really? No. Get out of here with that. Small generator fuel tank. Uh, total that 79. I will take what I can. Okay. Total count 19. Can I not take out 19? Is that like too small of an amount? Yeah. Alright, fair enough. That's really it, huh? Okay. Oh, you know what I should have brought with me? I should have brought freaking... Oh. Yeah, let's look around a little bit. Well, I mean, I could always do this. I should have brought cores with me. Son of a bitch. No, I wouldn't have been able to, I wouldn't have known about their core anyway, but yeah. I should have brought cores. I might actually go home and get some, to be honest. For now, I'm just going to take all this stuff apart. Just for the walls. Just because they... I'm aggravated. They wasted my time with this awful, like, lame POI with nothing in it. I've been flying around this planet quite a bit, and I've gotten most of it mapped out. There's still some parts here, you know, mostly probably in Xerox territory that I'm kind of staying away from a little bit. But check this out. I did find the abandoned outpost. Now, I'm not going to do the abandoned outpost today because I want that to be its own video. It's a freaking dope. It's probably my, like, favorite starter planet thing to do. It's so great. Um, the one thing I'm worried about, though, is it is in Polaris Faction territory. Now, I went and I made a backup of the game, and then I went in the abandoned outpost, shot the crap out of everything, looted a lot of stuff, uh, just to see if I would get negative Polaris Faction, and I didn't get negative Polaris Faction for anything. So I think I'm going to be okay with the with the um, Polaris Faction. Should not be a problem. Let's remove that. Let's remove that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep... I'm going to check out some of these, uh, you know smaller POIs for the rest of the video and next video that we do uh, next video is probably gonna be a building video I'm pretty much set, hell set on that because um hell bent I mean <laughs> because well you guys saw what happened okay uh but the next time I do go out and like go out and about and look for stuff I will be uh doing the abandoned mine okay so I'm thinking there's something underneath here right it's gotta be something underneath so let's take a look let's do some Let's do some digging, and let's dig with the drone, because it's safer. And let's kind of look around a little bit. Uh, let's make sure we're hooked up to this. We are. So any stone we get will go in there. Oh, doesn't look like there's really anything underneath there. So what are the ruins for? Are the ruins that weak? I mean, I could use the crushed stone, so it doesn't really bother me to do this, but... Like, why put a POI out there and, like, have nothing there? Unless, I'm, unless there was something on the surface that I didn't see. Okay, well. I don't know, guys. Not seeing anything. So let's look, let's look around on the surface some more. Uh, this. Uh, retrieve block statue. Nothing. Yeah, I don't know. This is, um... Just, it's a non-POI. <laughs> Oh boy, okay. Well, let's find something a little more interesting. All right, we're here at a crashed Sentinel front. Uh, it is nighttime now. It doesn't really look nighttime, but it is. So we're going to go ahead and go to sleep and make it daytime. There we go. Much better. I can turn off my light. And let's take a look, look around. Oh boy, this doesn't look like much either. But maybe a lot of it's underground. Could very well be the case. Whoa, what is that? I did bring a core. I'm not going to put it down, though, unless I find something interesting. Uh, let's look underground really quick. I love having this drill because it makes looking underground much more, you know, feasible. Yeah, okay, so this does go underground a little bit. But it doesn't really look like there's anything under here. 
I'm gonna do this. All right, that's all locked in. I wonder if I dig the grinder out, will the whole thing collapse? And then I can just press F just to get it all. I don't, I don't know. It's a good question. I know there's structural integrity. Stuff will collapse. I just don't know about, you know, digging the ground underneath something. I mean, it should. Here, let's do this. There we go. Let's see if we can get this in the fall. Just by digging stuff underneath. It doesn't look like it's changing its structural integrity. But you won't know until you try, right? Do all that. Do all that. Yeah, this doesn't look like it's getting any any kind of structural integrity loss at all. Oh, right, look at that. It's kind of floating. It's a floating. Wow, I didn't think it would actually float like that. Oh, stupid stamina. Okay, let's go ahead and have one of these. Yeah. That thing is, like, floating. Oh, hold on. We got a little bit more attached here. Okay. Uh, st still floating. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. All right. I will leave it alone. Let's see if we can find something else interesting. All right. There's two things we have to build. Uh, <laughs> the first thing is better storage. Okay. I'm not really sure where I want to put the better storage, but I guess I'm just going to put it over... Uh, right over here. So let's go ahead and use the drone. Now we still have iron under here, and I have to remember that. <laughs> so I can go under there and, get, and, you know, get all that iron. But it should be okay. Let's put a little bit more over there. And then right here, and pull this out like so. Okay. So now we're, we're going to need is the container controller. I already made it. Spec'd into it and made it. And the container extensions. All right, the container, the container controller is how you like interact with your storage, right? So, <clears throat> I don't know how I want to make this. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, that looks good. All right, and then you put down the extenders to to give it more storage. Like I think it starts with storage. Let me see. Yeah, it starts with eight thousand storage, and every extender you connect to it. Gives you more storage. Now, I don't know how much storage each one gives, but and but they do have to be touching this thing, I think. Yeah, I'm already up to 48,000 storage. That's incredible. So what we do now is we go to our base, and this is our inventory stuff. We got 16,000, this is 48,000. And then we simply shift-click everything into here. So I moved everything over, and this thing's actually pretty full. Uh, why isn't it showing it? There we go. I want that to be player, that to be base. There we go. Beautiful. This thing's almost full. Now, the cool thing about this is, let's say you put down a storage container, a regular storage container, and it fills up. You have to empty out the storage container and look for a bigger one. This thing, all you got to do is add on to it. So, um, I already made one just to show you. Let me find, all right, right here. Container extension, right? Take that. Bada bing, bada boom. Bob's your uncle. And we now have more space. That is freaking phenomenal. Just love it. All right, so now we got that taken care of. We're going to come over here, and we are going to build ourselves a very, very basic, very basic farm. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll start it right here. Uh, that's the wrong tool. There we go. Retrieve block. One, two. Let's make sure we're hooked into something. Uh, we are, but we're hooked into the wrong thing. Why does that go away when I, when I do this? There we go. Now it's there. Now anything I mine out should go right into there. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Two, three. One, two, three. And then we're going to open this up more. Now, you have to have... You have to take care of your plants just like in real life, you know? They have to be a good temperature. They have to have oxygen. You know, we're not going to have to worry about oxygen on this planet, but the temperature uh, we will have to worry about. So, I'm going to take these concrete blocks. And I'm going to build this over like this. And this should come over two spots. Because I need a wall. And that's where we'll put our grow plots. Now, let's grab some more... Why do I only have six? 
I've been having to make more grow plots. Is it just not stacking? No. Actually, maybe, I've, maybe I have not been having to make more grow plots yet. Let's come on over here. And let's take a look if we can make more. We need, uh, you need nine grow plots at a time. I already have six, so we're going to do another three. There you go. Right click to take one off, but you have to shut off the machine first. Wait. Uh, okay. One, two, three. That was weird. I thought I could take one off at a time, but I guess not. Well, you probably can. I just didn't hit the right buttons. All right. So we're going to make some walls here. And I would like to leave one spot in between. I'd also like to... I'd also like to cover up the generator and the and the power supply so you know I don't get too close to it and get like radiation or heat or whatever. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these around like this and just move those out like that. Nope. Beautiful. And then I'll put this along like that. Okay. And now we're gonna get the heck out of the way. And nothing too fancy. Just going to make a little wall right here. There's different kinds of walls you can make. I mean, there's a lot of options here. I'm not going to get fancy, though. Not not yet. It's not the time to get fancy. i got to worry about not losing my base to drones. Uh, where am I put the door? I'm going to put the door right there. Beautiful. Uh, T. There we go. And then we'll bring this over like that. And then we have to drill out some more. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, I think we got everything we need. Uh, one thing that I'm gonna have a problem with here is I always forget how far up the light needs to be. You need a you need a grow light, you know, to grow your crops. And I always forget how far up it's supposed to go. It's supposed to go a certain amount of blocks. I want to say it's supposed to be the the third block off the ground. So you give your crops one block, two blocks, and then above that is the light. Uh, let me know if I'm wrong about that. And I would like a glass door for this. Yep, that looks good. Alright, beautiful. Now, please tell me that has a little blue thing in it. Nope, glass doors don't have the blue thing in it, Cage. Now, I don't think that's too much of a problem right now, but it might very well be. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick that up and replace it. Alright. So yeah, you can't use glass doors, I guess. That sucks. Um... <laughs> Let's go with this one. Yeah, now that one's that one should have a little blue thing, signifying that it's gonna keep the temperature in there proper for growing the crops. Right now it's okay for growing the crops anyway, but it might not always be like that. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and put these out. There we go. And we need to put a light up there. I'd also like some lights in here. Some proper lights. Maybe one right there. One right there will probably be enough. Let's see how we can do this. First of all, turn that off. And then we look at it. We press P. Go to device. And that's what I'm looking at. There we go. Intensity 2. Range 20. Honestly, one would probably be enough. But two really makes it nice. Oh, yeah. That's actually... It's really good. Okay. So now I need to place down the grow light. So like I said, I think... I'm almost positive that's too high for the grow light. Right? So you got one block, two blocks in the middle, and three blocks is on the top. Actually, hmm. I don't know. That feels like it's too high. Damn it. I always forget I always forget how high the freaking grow lights need to be. Okay, I just looked it up. Yeah, uh, it could be one lower. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to use some of these cylinder joints. And I'm going to use this the thin cylinder things. And I'm going to bring this like this and like that. And then I'm going to put the bad boy. Where is it? Darn it. Came back in here. I, I put it down and then I didn't like where it was. So I had to break it up again. So it went back into the chest. So we're going to put that right there. And that should be right. As far as I can tell. That should make them all grow properly. And they should have plenty of room. And I think that's like one, two. So that counts as the second block. So the, as far as I can tell. And guys, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. ASAP. Uh, as far as I can tell. The flowers, or, you know, the, the food, the farm, whatever, whatever you want to call it, the crops. Yeah, the crops. They'll take up that block, and this takes up the block below it. So it gives it one spot to grow. Should be okay. That should be okay. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to take this bad boy right here. And I'm going to put a little bit of, I don't know, 
do a little bit of uh, texturing here. I don't know exactly how I'd like to do this. Does that red look cool? Um, it looks pretty interesting, honestly. Yeah, the hell with it. Let's go with it. Uh, it doesn't really match up. I don't like that. I don't like the way it doesn't match up. What about over here? Anything over here? What about this? Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Looks like it's something that would have vents attached to it and stuff. All right, cool. And then the other thing we will do is we'll come out here and we will place down an LCD screen. Oh, what is that? What is that? An LCD projector? I've never messed with these before. How does that work? Where does it project? Dude, this is so cool. LCD projector, access. Um, how about the dope farm? And it's dope as in like, it's a cool farm. It's not dope as in drugs. <laughs> uh, we're going to do red with a black background. And, oh, it puts it on the, you see what it's doing? <clears throat> Excuse me, it's putting it on there. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So we're going to bring that back a little bit. That looks pretty cool. And how do we make the text? Oh, font size bigger. The dope farm. What is this? Oh, cool. Oh, this is a lot. Of, this is all new to me. Oh, my God. Look at all the stuff you can do. What is this? Ah! <laughs> oh, that's so freaking cool. Oh, that, this is... Man, this game. Okay. So I don't really have that done properly, but let's, uh, let's see if we could do it like this. So I did all I could do with that. I'm going to mess around with it a little bit more, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, <laughs> I've done so much decorating, I forgot to actually plant the crops. I was about to end the episode. I was like, oh, well, I think we're done here. I think we're done here. But no, not really. You're really not done here. All right, so we're going to go right up here. This is our um, food processor. We're going to click on this little thing up here to farming. And we're going to need some plant protein in here. Wait, didn't I put... Oh, it's in the wrong thing. That's right. Okay. So we need to have this on the fridge. There we go. And that's still not what we need. We're going to miss the, the purified water and the nutrient solution, which are in here. Because uh, my inventory is getting crazy. All right, we'll take that. The purified water, purified water. Okay, so I, I've been taking these water containers and turning them into purified water. And I've also been making nutrient solution. I don't have a ton of it, but it'll be enough for this uh, for this run. Here we go. And this is plant protein. Is it the only way I can get plant protein now? The, each, each of these gives you different things. So this one gives vegetables, grains, vegetables, vegetables, grains, Fruit, yeah, um, I looked through all these and I didn't see another plant protein. They might have made it just so just one plant gives plant protein, which is fine by me because usually, usually I can't decide which plant I want to like go with because like some of these plants will grow faster but give you less like items and then some will take longer but give you more items and I can never choose which one. And there's a, there's a specific amount of crops you want to grow to make uh, the best like food item in the game. Which is the emergency rations? There's a specific things you have to plant where you can get one, you can get a couple, like maybe one or two of these, maybe even more in one grow cycle. And I'm gonna look into that, but for now I'm just going with plant protein because it's what works best for me. All right, there we go, and we will plant one aloe vera as well. Just I don't know why, just want to. I just want to. All right, so let's go ahead to the dope farm and we'll put the aloe vera right here and you can pick these up you know like if i decide i want to plant some different ones i could either make another farm or pick these up and plant different things but yeah they should be good right now they're sprouts in like a little bit of time they'll start growing and as long as they're growing okay uh, i think this is going to be a pretty nice setup i am going to call this one here though if you had been enjoying the video please remember to uncage that like button also if you're new here please subscribe for more daily videos thank you very much for watching I'll see you next time, and until then, take it easy. The Dope Farm! No drugs in here. Ooh, hold on. 
the dope farm. No drugs in here. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you next time.